So a few days ago, a Floppy Cats reader sent me um, a video of how to get cat food out of um, a can. So you know how you usually, when you turn it over, you have to like tap it and bang it, and sometimes it still doesn't come out. I mean, I don't even have patience for that sometimes, so I um, just use a fork or a spoon. But what this video showed was if you turn the can upside down, take a knife and puncture this side, then, um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out one handed, <laughs> then it will come out. So let me um, <laughs> turn off the video so I can. Okay, knife is out. And voila. So there's a tiny slit there in the can. I had some issues with this, um, and I, I wanted to make this video because I was curious what your guys' um, thoughts were. So first, if you stick the knife in there, you're just like ruining the heck out of your knife. Um, and then, <coughs> what bacteria is on the bottom of the can that you're potentially putting through to the food? That concerned me as well, and uh, I think that's it. it. It reminds me of the same idea of, um, I mean, I, I always think that I'm putting bacteria in the food when I'm doing this, because or because I'm tapping it from the side that was exposed in the store. Uh, nonetheless, I wanted to show you guys that to get your opinion, so tell me what you think. Oh, 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 I know. Um, that the, it reminds me of those beer cans now where they have kind of the two openings so that you can chug them easy, more easily. Um, that's what that whole just letting air flow idea reminds me of. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.